morning guys, welcome to today. I'm gonna let honey out. See if she goes through that bucket. Oh, her rolling the shavings again. Okay, come on, you know where to go. That's right. There you go. Morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today's video is featured by Miss Molly the Border Collie. Yay! <laughs> so we are going to put up our Christmas tree today, and Molly has decided to partake in the activities in the festivities. You guys know that <laughs> she is a limp noodle. You guys know that Gabby's always asking Molly to jump up on things. Wherever Gabby's sitting or standing, she's like, jump up, jump up. So now Molly likes to jump up. <laughs> she looks so awkward. Ugh, she says, you're squishing my belly. Last year we had puppies. Well, I mean, they were one and a half. I still say we got a real tree. We should get a real tree. But this year we're going to have... Forever. Yeah, Almost. we're going to get a tree that lasts forever. No, I love no. our tree. I want white trees. So we cleaned up all the I area over there. Either. Usually I close that uh, door over there when we put up our Christmas tree. And it just makes the area so small. So this year we decided that we're going to leave the door open and see if it works a little bit better. I feel like this is our last year in this house. And I just want to enjoy yeah. Christmas. Yeah, with a white tree. <laughs> Not with a white tree. You with a green tree. What can your dog do? Look at all the dogs. Our house is so small for dogs. <laughs> what else can she do? Can she spin? She can jump on you. <laughs> she can jump on you. She can spin. Can she lay down? Down. Roll over. She forgets. No, that's her version of rolling over. You can hide ten. <laughs> so uh, our kids have gone to the age now where they don't really want to put up Christmas trees. They don't really like helping us Where's put up Christmas going? trees right there in that corner. So uh, this year, Sam and I are going to go out because I have a few Christmas presents that I have to go to buy. It is Black Friday sales happening and oh. I found some things I need to get. Do I should go to the dollar store and get these presents today? Uh, no. Hi. Oh, I... So Sam and I are going to go do shopping and <laughs> we passed the girls with setting up the Christmas tree. See, see how we did that? Daisy's scared of it. Daisy's always scared. That's her first reaction. <laughs> Ruby's like, help! Aw, good girl. Aw, she licked it. Yeah, Ruby does love honey so much, doesn't she? Yeah. Ruby's like, my baby's here. Uh, you're helping set up the Christmas tree, Missy. I'm putting the decorate. <laughs> I missed it. I didn't get out of the way because fall down. Gabby falls, but not on camera. <laughs> on purpose. Oh. <laughs> yeah, they did. Yeah. Anyway, it is Christmas tree decorating a day. She's ha okay now. Push it on now. Just waiting for Sam so we can go and get our Christmas shopping done that I need to get done today. But I wanted to tell you guys, like, watching my, you guys know, parents know, like, watching your kids grow and change and learn is such a amazing thing to see, like, their personality. And one thing that I learned with these kids that I didn't know with my old kids, with my boys, my older kids, is that it's okay to let them be who they are. Like, learning to let your kids be who they are is such a huge was such a huge thing for me like when i had my boys we were back in it 
it was more back like in a time where you weren't valued for being yourself. We teach our kids, like we used to teach our kids and we still do like in schools and stuff that it's it's right to be like everyone else, to aspire to the same things as everyone else. And there's a reason why schools teach that to kids and there's a reason why we have taught that to kids. But the world is changing so much now. Bye horses. And it's okay to be yourself now. Like for the first time ever, it really truly is okay to be yourself. Like you can find a group of people that will support you no matter who you are. And I love that. And just being able to like, allow my kids to be themselves and to appreciate them and to love them on their for for who they are instead of how they try and be the way that i want them to be like i don't want my kids to be the way that they think i want them to be i want them to learn to be themselves no matter what what do you think about that sam yes there ain't no coke because it's four degrees out of this yeah because that's related to what i was talking about <laughs> So, but what, what do you think? Like, were you taught to be yourself? I was taught to follow the rules, but still be yourself. Really? And if, and if you were yourself, you had to suffer the consequences if you didn't. I'm not sure you know what I, I know, mean. My parents were strict. So we His were parents were strict. Like, my parents were strict. We had to follow rules, but I mean, outside of those rules, be yourself. It's so important to be who you are inside and I just loved watching my kids like I love watching them be who they are like I just love it. This is the inspiration. I love the red. Sophie wants a white tree. Sophie wants a white tree but look at how cute it actually does look. I should listen to her more. Or that's a frosted tree actually. Maybe she wants like a white tree and I do not like that at all. These are actually really cute. It's like garland. Oh, and it's huge. Isn't that cute? You could make that so easy. So essentially, you're here to get presents for the grandkids. Something for the grandkids. Because they have a Black Friday sale. And I don't want to miss the price reduction. But look at that. Cabbage Patch Kids. You guys remember those? My sisters used to get Cabbage Patch Kids. Okay, so we're at this store. And this store always does this thing where they're like, Oh, we didn't get any in stock. And then, so she pulls it up on the computer. And Sam's looking at it, and she's like, yeah, we don't have any. And he's like, well, it says in stock. And she's like, oh, well, that's a good question. Let me go check. <laughs> so I don't know what that means. Also, this garland, these, I'm going to make this, you guys. Like, that is cool. I don't know if I want to make it this year. But isn't it cool? It's $35. And all it is is, like, fishing wire fed through the little knobs of the of the ornaments like that's so easy and it's so cute and you can just hang it up i might i might make it the girls would love to do it and they have all different colors isn't that adorable though they also have this garland which is super adorable i love that oh all these ideas of what i want to make and i'm not a crafty girl they have entire packages of balls that you could buy or you could get balls from the dollar store okay they have sleigh bells all right so we ordered it we were able to order it he ordered it and paid for it online and hopefully we're gonna get it i hate that that's one thing about this one store it's very like the whole world is turning clickbait really mm -hmm. to be honest yeah it's like come in the store it's to get it and guess what we don't have it but yeah sorry we didn't get any of those <laughs> like they knew right off the bat but anyway we ordered it hopefully we get it it's something that i wanted to get baby jack went to three different stores and there were no flavored good flavored candy canes we're in a candy cane shortage you guys what are you watching kissing booth one of sophie's favorite movies this is the tree we forgot to get new lights but you guys got most of the lights working or no I haven't even tried. Oh, we're missing some of the lights broke, so we're gonna try and figure that out. But I love it. Thank you so much for putting the Christmas tree yeah, up. It would look better if we had a white tree instead. I found like a frosted tree. Do you mean a frosted tree? White tree. Did not get dog treats, but I bought a bunch of stuff for us to do a craft tomorrow on my birthday. You guys, so these are my birthday presents. <laughs> I'm like a child when it comes to my birthday. But anyways. I asked Sam specifically to buy me something for my birthday and 
It looked exactly like this. Felt exactly like this, and he ordered it. I can't wait to get it. It's totally what I think it is. So he ordered it, and it didn't come, and it didn't come, and it didn't come, and then we just came home today, and I see that wrapped up. So I'm so excited. And you guys are gonna be excited too. Like, that present that I wanted is so much about my growth with horses. Like, I cannot wait tomorrow, till tomorrow, to show you guys. Like, I'm excited about that. Don't hold on to me, sister. When you walk down in the, in the slippery, you stay away from Sophie. Woo! Clearly my horse is ready to go though. Wow. Sam brought more hay today. More hay in there too. He got a double load. Hi Gabby. Hi. That ball is not for you. Oh no! She's muddy for the first time! <laughs> Sophie, you got a cleaner. Honey! Honey, honey! <laughs> Look at honey, first time. Usually what Penny does when she comes in is she goes right to the mini, just like everybody in our family. She goes right to her and says, listen, I'm the boss of you all. And the mini says, okay, don't hurt me. I'm just a baby. <laughs> and then Penny says, okay, as long as we're clear. It's literally three o'clock and it's already getting dark. Tonight is riding lesson night and we're taking Gracie girl. She's gonna go into the stall and have her dinner early. Yeah. She's very bad at the point. Yes, we know, we know. Even Ruby's like, look at what happened to her. She got dirty, let me clean you. <laughs> Ruby is afraid of horses. She's always been nervous of the horses, but she thinks this is her dog. That is terrible. <laughs> that is terrible. This is why palomitos oh, are hard. <laughs> Ew. You <laughs> gotta do it. Okay. Oh, even inside has a little bit of She's like, oh, please, brush me, brush oh, I me. I got my hair in that. <laughs> hey, guys, I curled my hair. <laughs> yeah, it fell out. I always put hairspray. Does, do hairspray. curls th come out of your hair? Or hairspray. Yeah, Gabby's doesn't hold it's curls. Like 30 minutes. It's yeah, but so but you still have some curls there. <laughs> but. Honey, stay clean for today. <laughs> yeah. Sophie's gonna be here for a while. This is so much easier than just bending over because like, she's so small. Oh, maybe we should like, let it dry. We don't wanna wet her because it's too cold for that. Yeah, let it dry though. You're cute, but you're dirty. You ready for tonight, Gracie girl? You're gonna take, treat, you're gonna take care of Julia? No, she's like, yes, I'll do whatever you want. Wouldn't you have like a miniature horse? Like a baby minute, like, once you see like a small, small horse and then all the other horses seem so much bigger. So yesterday, while we were laughing so hard when the mini went running to try and come in with Sophie is because she was far from the door and she's so calculated. Like she's like, I will watch. And as soon as that door's open, poof, she ran so fast. Like we had no idea she was even coming. It was just funny. Don't you know that you're beautiful?